Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. I hope you're all doing well. This is our transfer news and rumors recorded regarding Manchester United. So there have been some news of late about uh, Ziek coming to Manchester United. Ziek is 29 years old. For those of you, those of you who don't know Ziek, he's a 29-year-old player, Moroccan international from Ajax Amsterdam, but presently with contract uh, with Chelsea. Guys, before we go along, guys, please make sure you smash a like on the video. Thanks for all of you who have been doing that. We are a fan channel. We try to speak with France and give you guys the most recent and um, uh, detailed information about Manchester United as a fan. So if you want to be part of the, co uh, the community, please make sure you drop your comments below and we will be having this chat on a daily basis. So, uh, yeah, there are a lot of news here. We will we'll talk about Sesco which are developments which are tried quite interesting, which most of you didn't know about Sesco in related to Manchester United. We'll talk about players going out and also we'll talk about the young because the young situation, it's, uh, it's you know, you know, have you ever been in a position where you are driving, you you really, you have like a six hour drive and every, time, every, every hour you ask, when are we arriving? And you realize that um, it, they keep telling you, we have four more hours, we have three more hours. We have simple, we are now like one hour to, to arrive to our destination in the sense that we are on the last weeks for the end of the transfer window. So we need to know more about De Jong. Hate it or like it, I don't like the story, but let's just go straight to it. So, uh, Ziek, uh, as I said, is a Moroccan international. A previous Ajax player has been uh, talked about a player, uh, about, about a move to Manchester United. Why? Because Chelsea has bought Sterling, so Ziyech becomes a surplus to requirement for Chelsea. This has made Chelsea to actually try to get him out of the club. And we have been getting reports here from all our lads. We have the son, which is some things not serious. We have Laurie Whitwell from the Athletic. This is someone which has been the king this year in terms of transfer information. As you know, guys, like here and like all fan channels, we don't make the news, we react to the news. So did we get the news from very good sources. In this case, in this summer, I'll take Laurie Woodwell to be one of the most um, in-depth, uh, uh, informative person in regards to transfer, especially with Manchester United. So he has come out and said United, there's some interest with United and uh, uh, United, if we cannot get Anthony, I know Anthony, the fans of this channel, you guys love Anthony. I love him as well. And that if we don't get Anthony, United might see Zayak as a possible uh, move um, uh, um, player we can bring to Old Trafford. So guys, tell me what you guys think. It's not about me. What do you guys think? You think Zayak can, can, can bring uh, some, some quality into our United team? Because personally, if he was before, back in the days, I would have said, no, he's a Chelsea player and I don't want to see him play for Manchester United because that's the, that's the arrogance that say Alex Ferguson left us behind with. As a United player, but in today's Manchester United, we are not the play, the, we are not the team we used to be. We are the club we used to be. We, some would say we are even far way better because we are more attractive commercial wise. But on the pitch, we are not the team we used to be. So when coming to Manchester United, you're not guaranteed to win something yet. So um, I will be modest in this one. I will say I will be happy to see Zaire come to Manchester United. Why? Because I don't want when the season starts. And, you know, the season in the UK, not only is it very competitive, it's very quick. And, uh, I mean, you don't pray for injuries, but these things happen. It's football. And if those, we do have some issue. I don't want to see players who are on their first, second year as professionals. People like, I mean, like uh, Elanga playing for Manchester United like 90 minutes when they, they are done. You know, we, we need some experience. And I think Zayas can be that player who will bring something um, for Manchester United at this present Manchester United team. I want to know from you guys, do you think if we, it is better for us to go a short-term solution, 29-year-old guy who can deliver for Manchester United or then in the next one, two years, we get a player like Anthony who will be uh, a young player for the growth of the team. So it's up to you. Drop your comment below and uh, tell uh, me personally. So let's talk a little bit about Sesco. Sesco also is a player which has always been in the mix. I just realized that United have been scouting Sesco. You won't believe me. Sesco was playing for a Slovenian team just some couple of months ago. Sesco, United uh, turned down Sesco for 3 million euros. Can you imagine? With 3 million pounds. And United said it was, uh, they said it was expensive. Was it 3 million? Yeah, 3 million euros. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so it is written here that uh, United had scouted Sesco since he was at uh, Damsal, a club in Slovenia. Back then in 2019, United viewed uh, the 3 million price tag as excessive. The cost now would be much more higher. 
So, so Sesco now, yeah, we are talking of something of around 45 million pounds. This was like just a couple, three, three years ago that Sesco was worth three million. He was playing for Slovenian team. This is where scouting comes into play, guys. When you have a team like, you, um, a club like United, even a club, sm a smaller club like uh, in Europe, the reason why most clubs have increased, have raised their level, have leveled up, as you say in English, uh, is because most of them have built a very strong scouting team. I have a friend who works in this system in Holland has brought up a lot of African players in Holland. And um, yeah, so if uh, what I would tell you guys is if you have a good scouting team, you can build a team for the future. This is a, this is a model which most clubs have done. You have Southampton who is going into this model. Ajax was the king of the model. Borussia Dortmund also is a team, team clubs, transition club transition club a club which will not keep stars will not hold stars uh, uh, back if they have if they have a good deal for the stars but manchester united is a consumer club so we don't really build stars but we are trying to do so we start that on the vanguard and uh yeah you got all the greenwoods who came through those uh setup but um yeah so sesco situation we have also worried laurie whitwell has said that united are looking closely and uh the, the sesco setup also is linked with, with Cristiano Ronaldo set up. Why? Because Cristiano Ronaldo, we were thinking that Cristiano Ronaldo should Cristiano, should Cristiano Ronaldo leave the club. United must, it's not has to, must invest on an attacker because uh, we all know that um, no matter how good, uh, no matter how good the French player is, uh, well, Marshall is sorry, it's because I'm thinking a lot of things. No matter how good Marshall is, Marshall is not. Wayne Rooney, he will not play 30 games without having a knock somewhere. So we need competition and the attack. So that's why we United are feeling that if they have to bring, if Ronaldo stays or not, we have to bring a younger attacker. And uh, we have been hearing news that the, the coach, Harry Ten Hag, has signed in on Cesco to come to Manchester United. But there is an issue here with Cesco also, which might be not very good for us as fans. United fan is we have clubs like Chelsea, who have come into the mix as usual chelsea they're also in the rebuild this is a problem in this season guys many clubs are in a rebuild you have also liverpool are showing interest so it will be it will be a, a, strong, a very tough one but i'm not saying united cannot make this deal because united the difference with these clubs and united is that united has a good pay a payday so a good salary so we can offer him a, a better financial package that's how it's called uh, the football term not salary but financial package yeah so um yeah we go we will switch on to De young a little bit of De young because you guys might asking okay De young is not coming to united where is he going because barcelona wants to sell there have been some news yesterday coming up today that chelsea also are jumped into the mist but guess what guess the caviar which is in this news which makes me really crazy united had agreed already 75 million euros with ibasa Hassa, 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 Barcelona. That's how Spanish people call them, Barcelona. And, but, the caveat here is, Chelsea are looking forward to give a, a 70 million instead. And um, Barcelona sees it as a very viable uh, uh, deal. Do you know why? Because Barcelona wants Aspirilleta, Aspirilleta, you know, the, the, the Spanish player, and also Alonso, the Spanish player. So the two players, that, players that are more attractive to Barcelona, and that and uh, that might really uh, get Barcelona to accept it. But don't forget that the reason why that um, De Jong hasn't left Barcelona is not because De Jong doesn't want to come to Manchester. All the Champions League trash put them beside. That's not the reason. The main reason is he had deferred salaries. Deferred salaries are they held back his salaries, which they had to give in futures. Salaries that you turn them down, they're not to be paid tomorrow. The deferred salaries that Barcelona has to pay them. But the Barcelona team, the owners, not the owners, we don't have owners in Barcelona, the, the board, the managers, of the, um, the, the, the new president of Barcelona is trying to restructure the team, the salary cap. If you look at the salary cap of Barcelona, a player that they bought like Lebanowski, Lebanowski, right? from um, Lewandowski from Bayern Munich today is seven you can imagine so they're trying to restructure the salary that goes not only to Barcelona that goes also to Depay which we talked about yesterday they're trying to re um, uh, players must accept you need to either you take it down or they find a way for you to leave but they still have deferred salaries which you have to give them so in the last two three years during COVID Barcelona lost a lot of money 
and uh, they couldn't pay these players they were like we'll pay in future so uh they are saying you that no matter if I'm, what laurie ritwell has come out and said also is no matter what whatever club takes by uh this um uh frankie de Jong, at this point they might have to dip in their pockets and also take part in paying the deferred wages for the young because barcelona is proving like we don't want to sell and uh, if you want to buy then you should uh, you, you should you should take the responsibility of our our, our our debts with the player i don't know if this is the right thing I, I i don't know i won't be the one to judge it is there a bloody issue too but that's what the news is let's talk about some of the guys who are leaving manchester united we know eric bay has to leave we know phil jones has been taught been encouraged by wayne Rooney in dc united to bring him to the u.s that would be a great thing i'll have a beer where when phil jones leave manchester united that would be one of the biggest accomplishment uh, by uh, our present manager clearing out the dead work we want players who uh, these players to go because what why i'll tell you why i'll tell this i'll tell you guys why if phil john goes it gives a chance for a certain mengi a reserve player to come and prove himself the question would last year two years ago we really had players who were not useful for the club but they had fantastic salaries like mata like jones and um yeah, we also have uh, Eric Bay, which uh, we know he might leave, he will have to leave because we it's like a surplus to requirement. These players are not necessarily bad. They are not necessarily bad footballers. They are surplus to requirement in the sense that there are a lot of players in that and they are not favored by the manager. So they use the word surplus to requirement. Hope you guys pick it up. Guys, you know I like doing short videos on this channel just to save your time. So guys, please make sure you smash a video, smash a like on this video, sorry, and also subscribe for daily videos. This is a channel I mean for main um, for United fans, football fans. You want to build your knowledge on football. You have your points to bring to bring on the table. We are more a flexible channel. We don't tell you how it works. We react to the news, talk as fans. And uh, yeah, that's how it's, go it's going to be. And guys, just a short one here. At, um, I wouldn't be the first three days of the champion, first three games of the Premier League. I will not be doing a live um, watch along. I'll do my analysis, do my pre-match analysis, and also my final scores and uh, about Manchester United. Do videos because I'm taking my holidays in the coming days. So uh, we will have, uh, we hopefully will have somebody to take over the, the position here in the studio. But uh, for now, this is how it's going to be. With that out said, guys, thanks a lot. Let's answer this question. Do you want Zayek to be a player for Manchester United? If yes, tell me what Zayek can bring for Manchester United. What is your position here with Manchester United? And stay tuned from the United way because we'll be giving you every breaking news that comes up along our way. And uh, stay healthy, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.